this music was born right here in America. It's something we should, as Americans, all be proud of. It is our contribution to culture around the world. We're, we'll, we'll play the melody that you are familiar with, and we'll go back and improvise. And what we're doing essentially here is improvising or making up our own melodies spontaneously over the chords that underlie the tune. So, and once we play the melody that you're all familiar with, we're going to go back and improvise. We're going to make up some melodies um, over this harmony. And the harmony is just going to go through uh, in time as we would if we were playing the melody, but we're going to be playing our own melodies. You know, I play, I play clubs for 30 years now around Orange County, and I get this comment a lot at clubs. And people say, I love the tunes that you played, the melodies that I understood and recognized. But then all of a sudden you guys go into these, off these tangents. I don't know what you're doing. Well, those tangents are the most important element of jazz because that's where the musicians are truly expressing themselves by making up their own melodies. Well, history. Uh, tubas were probably the first basses. Actually, probably log drums were. But before, when, when, when it came, you know, as, as, as Dixie music came in, there were marching bands. You can't march with an upright bass. Really hard. <laughs> so the tubas were the thing, and, and, and they were playing uh, basically a very supportive role to the music. And they were doing a thing was, would be like like so, so that'd be like <laughs> it's just like America, where you know we don't live in an anarchy. We have certain rules and regulations so that we can live as a society. Yet we're given freedom. Exactly the same thing with jazz. There are so we we are given uh, we're given a form to improvise on, but we are free to improvise. So it's very much like America. And again, why I, I'm such a proponent of jazz, and why as Americans we should be so proud of this music because it really represents our country um, more perfectly than I think any other style of music. From um, there, all the way up to music, Western pop music, whether it's country or hip hop, jazz, whatever you listen to that's American music, that two and four emphasis is really what, uh, this is where it emanated from. That one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get this. that every metal, rock metal guitarist that gets up in front of the band and solos owes their existence to Louis Armstrong, is Louis really the first person to front a band and take a solo? If you think about uh, having a conversation with two other people and you're on the same, you guys all know about that subject, that's what we're doing. So, you know, bebop, bebop unfortunately brought the music up to a very high level musically, but the commercial success of jazz started to wane because it wasn't really dance music anymore. Listen to Thelonious Monk now in the bebop era and how everything sounds jagged and dissonant and fast and in your face. <laughs> Not dance music anymore, now it's getting into the listening room. <laughs> Before I, I'm swinging, I'm doing like. Now in fusion music, a lot of it is, is I'll play. I'm playing a, fuse, a groove, a funk groove. So it's it's a, they're jagged lines, or in, you know, it might be it'd be like. Boxed in, it's more of a it's more of a funk groove, a pattern that's played that's kind of repetitious, and, and that's you'll hear a lot of that in jazz fusion. Flatten it out and put a, uh, each one and three and two and four on the snare, and you'll hear how the jazz ride symbol kind of fused into jazz rock. So here we go. <laughs>
a jazz performance, it's a one-off. It's the only time you're going to hear that tune done that way. You will never hear it again exactly the same way because we are improvising. And I think that's really exciting. 